Hello, so today we are able to have Shane Miller with, who is the plant man manager for Nipro Pharma Packaging. So Shane, can you tell us a little bit about what Nipro does? I will, thank you. Um, Nipro obviously was founded in, in Japan, uh, 1954. Uh, they've they've really been dedicated to expanding what they once started uh, as far as medical devices. It's kind of gotten into uh, glass, uh, whether it be tubing or anything related to any me medical field, essentially. Uh, how that relates to us here in Indiana is Nipro bought us approximately 10 years ago um, and really wanted to get the pharma packaging and or glass into their mix. And with that, they, they, they bought our organization, which consists of uh, four sites here in the United States. Uh, and we make, we specialize in glass vials. So the Westport site here in Indiana, we make glass vials for just about every manufacturer. Um, we do fairly well. Um, we do consider ourselves, you know, world class. Our efficiencies are, are outstanding. Um, the team here is comprised of a lot of high tenure people, so people that have been here 20, 30 years. Um, and we have a good mix of those coming up that have one to two years that will be our future, hopefully. Uh, so specializing in vials, what does that mean? That means we produce about 1 million vials a day in our facility. So uh, about 900,000 on average, up to 950, 970,000. So it's a 24 seven operation and we just try to meet the needs of our customers. Okay, that's really cool. Um, so what kind of, what types of engineers do you hire at NEPRO and what do they do? Uh, there's a lot of different uh, areas at, at NEPRO. So I'll just concern ourselves with just the Americas group um, without getting into Europe, which I don't know much about. But as far as the Americas, we're talking mechanical engineers, obvious are, are, are in high demand uh, just due to the technologies that we're either investigating or are implementing. Um, there's a lot of things that we've we've done in the last couple of years here at NEPRO and then a, a, a future plan that is is going to demand these, these types of roles. So uh, whether that be different types of automation or an EHS impact that, you know, desires the, the need to have some sort of automation to get that human contact with glass away. Uh, there, there's, there's a lot of opportunities there. Um, on the side note of just mechanical but electrical, so along with these new technologies, there's there's a lot of, um, well, as we're talking here, robotics involved. So we have um, auto pack systems. We have uh, a robot that is specifically bought to uh, reduce or eliminate, actually, the glass-to-glass contact of vials. So the programming involved in that and just the setup and the validation, all these things um, are important. And then you flip it over to the quality side, we have quality engineers who are responsible for the same things. So not only making sure that we get the, the product in the correct position or packed correctly, but to make sure that the systems are validated because all these customers that we represent or we produce for then come here to make sure that we have taken the right steps. and. We have validated correctly, and we're we're producing in the way that they see fit. That's that's really cool. So, what other types of positions do you offer at Nipro? Oh, that, that's a that's a large range. So, entry level positions are that of an operator for machines. We have a very unique machine base that is uh, really not seen anywhere else. Um, so it, there's maybe a handful of these buildings that have these machines in the United States. Um, to give a, another picture of that, we have 11 sites uh, globally, so there, it's, it's not a real, I guess, um, defined role. And what I mean by defined is a lot of times an entry level position for machining revolves around CNC. Uh, people are used to seeing CNC lathes or um, drill presses and all, all types of machines, but these are kind of different. There's a there's an art form to it, so it's how you 
convert the tubing into uh, a vial by use of heat. Uh, there's a little bit of science in it, but there's also a little bit of art. So that's a, a long process to get that training. Uh, some other roles we have are uh, the inspection, inspector packers, uh, who then essentially, after the um, process of in, uh, inspecting the, the glass through cameras, they actually look over them, make sure the configuration is correct, that ends up going to our end customer. Um, and then, of course, you have the salary positions, the so supervisors, quality managers, production managers, plant managers, all these other types of uh, managing roles. Uh, and then we're starting to get into a lot of specialty roles, so the importance of mechanics and what we call vision techs, who are some of the frontline people that have to deal with the camera systems, camera systems that we put in place. Uh, these are not just your normal, uh, everyday camera taking still photos. You know, we're we're taking pictures in under a second. That is, when a 360 degree view of this vial. Uh, so to program this and get the capability out of that camera that we need for our customers uh, to ensure they get a, a defect-free product is uh, is key. So there's a lot of roles. Um, that's just mainly here at our facility that I just spoke about, but the opportunities are, are endless at this point. Really cool, really cool. Um, so we said that you're a plant manager at Nebro. Can you tell us a little bit about your job? Uh, yeah, so plant manager, I'm essentially responsible for the site and responsibilities, the boundaries of that, what does that really mean? That means First and foremost is the safety of all of our employees. So um, we just make sure that everyone goes home with everything they came with. Um, so there's a lot of nip and pinch points. There is a, a lot of uh, guarding that we have here. It's all for very specific reasons. I don't have it on right now, but uh, we have hats that we have to wear. Well, why do we wear hats? Because we convert glass and sometimes it's overhead. So we don't want anybody getting cuts that, you know, if the issue arises on a, on a machine that it you know, happens to have breakage. So it's all very important. Uh, we take it very serious. We have a very, very good track record. Um, I will go ahead and throw in that we went over 20 years without a lost time incident, which is huge in any manufacturing, let alone a glass converting facility. So it, safety is our, our most important thing. Uh, after that is the, the production and quality side. Obviously, I'm sure everybody pretty much knows that quality and production go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. Um, the customers demand high quality, but if you uh, embed the, the quality product into your everyday life, then the results of production are, are, are bound to happen um, and manage itself, essentially. Um, and then, of course, you have the, the building of the, of the future. So. How do I see the plant in five years, 10 years from now, during my time, after my time? Um, I do have ideas, as most plant managers do, how they want to see things go and what that means as far as your, your team today. How are they going to evolve? How do the roles evolve to uh, the different changing markets of every year? We see something uh, slightly different. So what does that mean in, in their terms of uh, training needed and, and uh, future availability? be an asset for the company. So a lot of mentoring, uh, a lot of overseeing of um, goals and objectives, not only for the site, but for the company to make sure that we're all leading down the same trail to success. Okay, that was really, that was really interesting. Um, so what kind of traits are you looking for in your employees at Nipro? Like what kind of skills are really make people stand out? That's a very good question. Um, I won't say that we're looking for skills so much. Um, now, obviously, in, in other types of roles as far as uh, managers and whatnot, that we are looking for the experience or the, the skills that they would possess to, to have that role, of course. But I think in terms of more the production side or the, the team that has um, the most direct impact to our production. It's not about so much the skills because we will teach those skills. Uh, again, we have a very unique system here. It's not something you learn anywhere else. So we train the, the skill part of it. Uh, more so we're looking for the, the, I guess, the dedication to succeed. 
Um, we, we do want those people that, that have a desire to, to do good. Um, the, the work ethic is very important. Um, you see a lot of articles today that describe, you know, the um, the troubles that some manufacturing sites, especially, are, are going through in in retention of employees. Uh, how do we how do we keep these people? How do we keep them involved? Make them feel like they're a part of the company. It's all uh, it's all a pretty big piece here. So traits. We want the I guess the work ethic and the dedication. Um, which isn't hard to find here in the Midwest. There's there's a lot of those. And then as far as skills, um, really if it's suited to the role, as in you have experience managing projects or managing people, that usually fits into that role. So, so other than that, we will we will train skills. Okay. So um, that was the last question I had. So if there's anything else you'd like to tell us about what you do or about the culture at Nipro. Uh, we'd like we'd love to hear more about that. Okay, um, the culture. Uh, as far as our plant, I think it's the the typical Midwest uh, plant. You know, it's it is full of your as we just kind of discussed the, the the people that that do want to at the end of the day feel a sense of accomplishment. So there's a lot of pride in what we do. Um, the, the numbers are one thing, the goals are another, but at the same time, everyone, they, they take it very personally. So with that, that is, you know, that, that's, that's the goal of the pride of our plant is we really do want to hit all personal and safety goals. At the end of the day, we don't feel like we've done our part if there is a, a hiccup in that. Um, other than that, I, I think, uh, to kind of back up on Nipro, uh, the I know the the mission statement is a is a very long one, and I will supply a, a slide to kind of go over this. But and I, I hope I pronounce this correctly. But what they what they go by is the Sanfo Yoshi concept, or good for everyone. So what exactly does that mean? Um, it means the buyer, the seller, and society all walk away from any deal more or less feeling satisfactory. Things went well for the, the whole group involved. And that really is what Nipro pushes. Um, that's driven from the top. And we, we all want that, that, same, that same thing, no matter what we do in, in day-to-day uh, working. So that it's very important to us. Um, we're making sure at the end of the day that the, the end user is not only getting the drug that they need supplied by the vial that we produce, but Everything else we do, medical supplies and everything, is all there, available, and exactly what they need or want. Uh, so that's very important to us. And one, one more question. Um, do you have any advice for students who are about to start looking for their first jobs? Oh, well, I guess the best advice I could give is, well, not only be yourself, because that, that's that's kind of the the obvious answer, and the interview process eventually will reveal that anyway. Um, if if you have a good interviewer, I guess. Um, so don't get frustrated. You know, there's it's a it's a very large market out there for jobs. So focus on what you said you wanted in the beginning, and go towards that goal. Um, from what I've seen anyway, it's, it's, it's good to have your goal set and don't ever really let that go. You know, the end result is it might take you time to get there. Don't get frustrated for every door that closes because there's going to be plenty more that open, especially in today's manufacturing environment. We're all hiring. Um, I just, I can't stress enough. There's a lot of opportunity out there. Don't get frustrated. Keep your head up. Focus on what you want. Um, and be driven. I mean, be driven means every day going for what it is you, your end result is that you want. Um, and show the company that. The company will notice. Um, it might seem like it's not or not appreciated. The end result is if you do what you're to do, someone will notice and good things do happen.